Today we are buying one of everything from Pokemon Obsidian Flame. Our first stop is none other than Target. And Marie, mm -hmm. I mean one, one of everything. They are stocked up at this Target on first location. Do you think first location we're literally gonna get one of everything from Obsidian Flame? Because look at it. They got everything. So we need one of every pack artwork. We got Rev of Room, Tyranitar, Dragonite, and Charizard. Murray, I'm not seeing Elite Trainer Box. One of everything, right? Well, I know one of everything, but I'm not seeing huh. it. So we got the mini binder album. Look at this, the Houndstone and Baby. the Eevee. All right, one I will take that. of everything. Now this came out the exact same day, this collector's chest, which, okay, I was seeing if there was a limit. I don't think there's a limit anymore of how many Pokemon cards we can buy. So here we go. Let's add this. Oh, that's Paldea Evolved. Never mind. Yeah, this is Paldea Evolved. Never However, we do need the booster bundle. I'll get this. Oh, okay. Um, that wasn't on my list of things to get, but well, that's, that's fine. Okay, now we still need Elite Trainer Box. We need Booster Bundle. We also need the Check Lane Blisters. Hang on, let me check this uh, check out over here. This is Paldea Evolved. Okay, so that's all Paldea Evolved. Now here's the thing, we can go check in the back because there should be another card section back there. Marie? Yes. He totally just passed something. Do you notice it? Do you notice it? You really haven't seen it yet? What? You really haven't seen it yet. Oh. <laughs> The Target exclusive Jumbo Glaceon Funko Pop. No, wait, now wait a minute, wait a minute. I was just showing it to you. We're not, we're not actually getting it. No, no, no. We're and as always, we have to check the Pokemon section in general down here, which, Marie, this is like shrunk. There's like virtually nothing over here. They got the Trainer Team series, which I don't know if you remember, I was in that commercial, that Target commercial for the Trainer Team. I mean, I guess it's tradition at this point. Do I just have to accept it? Yes. Uh, now I see you've discovered a red shell. This is the first time you've seen a red shell. Do you think it hits the same? No, it does not. It doesn't work the same. I don't even think you can throw it. No. Nope, see? It doesn't even work the same. It's blue shell only. I don't make the rules. All right, go ahead and throw it in. That wasn't really a throw. I don't, that's going to break it. That's not going to break it? You, what? Break no. it? What are you, it's not glass. So? <laughs> Unfortunately, it looks like Target has gotten rid of their other Pokemon section. Dramatically start the Jeep. However, we cannot go home until we get one of everything from Obsidian Flame. Next stop is Walmart, even though we don't typically have good... Is it, is it a little bright out? It is a lot of bright out. <laughs> I was going to say, typically we don't have good luck with this Walmart, but we're going to try anyway. I really, really, really hope this isn't their Pokemon card section. Because if this is their card section in general, whew. I don't know when we come to this Walmart anymore. Okay, now sometimes there's Pokemon cards over here. However, this time it's not looking too promising because there's literally nothing. There's nothing. However, wait, 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 wait. Now there's two situations that can happen here. Either one, there's gonna be Pokemon cards, or two, there's gonna be an Undertaker figure right underneath there. Which one are you going with? Undertaker. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm going with. And... Oh, there's something here. What's this? Oh, a bicycle thing. However, Neither. Whoever has been hiding the Undertaker figures under there has taken a break. They're, they're, you've taken a break. I, and I still don't know who you are. Maybe there's no Undertaker figures for them to do it with. Um, they could have done the plush. I guess, yeah, I guess that's true. They could have done the plush. Other than that plush, I don't see any Undertaker figures. So maybe that's why. Maybe they didn't take a break. Maybe there's just nothing there's Undertaker literally to hide them no Undertaker. There. Thank goodness. But I can still tell you about the time that I did. I GameStop is up next since that Walmart was a complete waste of time. I'm sure you agree with me, Marie. Oh, yeah. All right, we still need the booster bundle. We need Elite Trainer Box, Check Lane Blisters, and I think that is all. Ooh, look at this. We got a nice see-through backpack. Okay. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I see something. Obsidian Flames Elite Trainer Box. Okay, Marie, you pick one up. Literally the very back. Okay. All right, that's fine. Yeah, that works. That works. We got some of the Tyranitar tins down here. I'm right on. We got the erasers. Oh, they weirdly have one of the World Championship decks. Oh, yeah, I forgot we need the mini binder album. Oh, no. So this is everything they currently have in stock. All right, so it looks like we're going with the ETB. However, that is still marking one thing off of our list. Oh, wait a minute. I got sidetracked here. We got Psyduck City. Oh, look at this. There is a Pikachu or a Pokemon ramen bowl. Okay, I think that's all they're gonna have here. So on to the next location. Meyer is the next stop. Hang on, it's right over here somewhere. The sign's right down there. Wait, Marie, you left without me. You made it back so fast. All right, Meyer is up next. Do you feel better or worse than the Walmart we just went to? Better. 
better. All right, I'll take it. Oh, okay, okay, jackpot. Oh, yes. Okay, which one? You gotta, you gotta pick which one. You gonna go with uh, kind of right in the middle? Third one. All right, so we got the booster bundle. Check lane blisters, is that, is that check lane blisters? Yes, it is. So there's two of those, Whooper and it looks like Pommy, right, is the other one? Yeah. All right, so go ahead and get one of each of those. Oh no, the mini binder album. Oh, it's always that one that we can't find. Marie, what'd you do with it? Oh, look. Oh, that's like one of those velvety. Oh, so that's the, you can kind of see on screen the material of this Charmander way different than the other plushies <laughs> you typically see. Look at this, they have some of the Jirachi Pokemon Center plushies. However, I think they're like $39 here. All right, Marie, is there any, any mini binder albums up there from Obsidian Flames? No? Oh, the last one we need. But they do have some Silver Tempest booster packs. We got Scarlet and Violet base, uh, Lost Origin over here, more Elite Trainer boxes. We got the first series of booster bundles. And we got Shaman over here for $29.98, which was originally, I believe, a Walmart exclusive. And then of course we do have the Erasers over here. Now it seems like the LeChonk one is the the more popular one out of the two and they do have a bunch of them in stock the small of here i think they only have one. Oh no there's two all right so it looks like we have just about one of everything just that mini binder album we are missing what is up my breaking family sending some positive vibes in your direction today we literally have one of every obsidian flames pack box 10 one of everything from obsidian flames minus the mini binder album oh. a little asterisk right there we couldn't find it however today we are going through every obsidian flames product and what i need you to do down in the comment section i need you to tell me which product out of all of these you think is going to be the best one to buy which one you think is going to be the most lucky and we're already starting off with tomokazu kamiya my favorite artist of all time now unfortunately uh marie couldn't join me because uh she decided oh look at that starting off with a pidgeot ex energy put that in the filing cabinet there's a code card right there let's go ahead and sleeve up our pidgeot ex full art pidgeot ex Whoop. Right up there in the VIP section, the very important Pokemon card section, which means we can officially add the VIP ropes with the all-you-can-eat bagel bites. That's right, the all-you-can-eat bagel bites. That's all we serve: sausage, pepperoni, combination cheese. We got them all right there in the VIP section. Sorry, nope. There's nothing else. No chips. No uh, no shrimp. Nothing. Just bagel bites. Um, but like I was saying, um, <laughs> uh, Marie Marie took a nap. And uh, so I just, <laughs> I decided, you know what? Marie is very, very tired right now. Honestly, we both are, uh, to be fair. We both are very tired. We just got back from Japan not too long ago, um, within the past 48 hours as of this recording to be exact. So we both are definitely very, very tired. So if, uh, if you watch today's video and you're like, wow, their energy seems a little bit lower than usual, um, it's because <laughs> we, uh, we flew back from Japan. Um, it was about a... Energy, oh, it was about a, uh, let's see here, 12 hour, 12 hour flight from, from Tokyo to Detroit, and then a eight hour layover in Detroit, and then a one hour flight from Detroit to Indianapolis, and then a one hour drive home. So we got home about 1 a.m. Um, so anyways, yes, uh, <laughs> needless to say, we both are tired. We've been over there for two weeks. It was an incredible experience. Uh, we do have videos up here on the channel from Japan um, showcasing the pop-up Pokemon Center at the Pokemon World Championships and uh, going throughout Tokyo uh, in Osaka and Kyoto visiting all the different Pokemon Center locations in Japan and going on a shopping spree. So if you want to see those videos, check those out. They'll be on the end screen uh, when today's video is over. But Yes, we both are a little tired, so we're getting our energy back, but Marie is still sleeping, and uh, I wanted to make sure that she got her rest instead of battling it out with me today. So, uh, we're gonna be kind today. We're gonna be kind today, and uh, we're gonna give Marie the win, because we love Marie, and we think she's awesome, and she's amazing. Um, so, we're giving Marie the win today for the battle. So, but still, we gotta figure out which product is the absolute best. And yes, I did take a nap as well. I just woke up sooner. Um, 
So we're trying to figure out which is the best product and we have the Greedent EX Energy. Put that in the filing cabinet. And I actually think I need that Greedent EX. Woo, all your rare goodness. Let's go ahead and sleeve it up. Whoop. Right up there in the VIP section. Now, here's the thing, we have more more hang on let me let me figure out what i want to open up next let's open up the booster packs one of each pack artwork right here um and now i know you might be thinking oh you forgot a booster box um or the the build and battle boxes we are going with what is currently out in like uh, retail stores that you would find in your location a walmart a target so that's kind of what we're going based off of so in case you are wondering but anyways as i was saying we do have more videos from Japan coming up here on the channel very, very soon. We got our uh, our yearly scavenger hunt with Super Duper Danny uh, going around the Pokemon World Championships trying to uh, battle out to win. And there will be a giveaway in that video with World Championship specific items. So, yes, make sure you watch that. And, of course, we do have our big, huge uh, travel vlog, a uh, Pokemon travel vlog coming up here on the channel. Lots of lots of good stuff we filmed a lot while in japan and there is still more japan videos to come up here on the channel so make sure you have your notifications on it was an incredible experience literally a once in a lifetime experience literally um the pokemon company international uh, uh provided our badges for us our creator badges and they took care of our accommodations while in yokohama and oh look at that houndoom ex nice coming in with some fire like Kind of literally, fire. Um, but one of the neat things that we got to do, and if you do not follow me on Instagram, at Real Breaking Nate, whoop, go do so because the Pokemon Company International uh, took us, uh, took the Pokemon partners to the Creatures Office, which is the home of the Pokemon TCG. Literally where every TCG product kind of starts, uh, it is right there in the Creatures Office headquarters, uh, the world headquarters for the, like, the Pokemon TCG. Uh, so uh, I do have pictures up of the headquarters on my Instagram, at RealBreakingNate, if you want to check it out. And we got to meet one of the artists and have a special workshop with her. Ugh, hang on, this plastic is being difficult. None other than Yukimori, who does the clay artworks for the Pokemon cards. We got to meet Yukimori, and Yukimori taught us how to sculpt a Magnemite, which was amazing. I'm not going to show you any of the pictures right here. You have to go to my Instagram and check them out. There's a post on there. I'm telling you, it is absolutely amazing. If you've ever been curious of what the headquarters looks like, I got to visit it. It's like a, literally a rare experience. It's not something that, um, oh, look at that. Houndour go perfect with our Houndoom. Uh, from what I've been told, it's not something that they've ever done before. Um, it's literally an experience that like, it's, you can't like you can't buy an experience like this. So, I mean, this is literally like a once in a lifetime type of uh, type of experience, and it's just explaining it right now is just not doing is not doing it justice because I'm when I think about it, like I'm blown away by uh, just being a lifetime Pokemon fan and then getting to uh, like I said, experience something like that. It's just breathtaking, and it's just like a, a, an awe moment, right? You're like I'm actually here, like. My entire life, I've collected, I've played Pokemon cards, and I'm actually here right now. Um, and so I feel very lucky and honored to be able to do something like that and, uh, and Breaking Family show you um, some of that adventure along the way. But I will have a little, bit of, uh, a little bit of video footage of it. Not a whole lot. We couldn't film everything while we were there. Um, but I will have a little video footage of that as well coming up here on the channel in, uh, in like the big... Pokemon travel vlog so but if you want to see pictures of it now head over to my Instagram at real breaking name but I'll talk more in depth about it in the video and on the podcast shadowless podcast that myself super duper Danny and Mr. Jordan Fringe host every single week wherever you listen to podcasts shadowless podcast Lunatone going into Entei energy and the code card I, I literally want to keep talking about it but I know how I'm going to explain it right now is not going to do it justice just that's how awesome it was and just literally breathtaking. I get kind of choked up even talking about it. I mean, I got choked up in the moment uh, when I got to go there as well because I just couldn't believe it was actually happening. Tyranitar EX, more ultra rare goodness. Woo! I would say so far, so far, oh, I'm going to go with, 
Now that Pidgeot EX is really, really nice. I'm going to go with the three pack so far. I'm going with the three pack so far. Whoop. Oh, I didn't even sleep with the Houndour. My apologies, Houndour. Whoop. Now, I, I couldn't take you with me. No, I asked you if you wanted to go and you said no, you didn't want to go. I couldn't have took you with me anyway. I only bought two two airplane seats, one for me and one for Marie. You know, why, why would you tell me to stay home? Never wants to participate, then all of a sudden wants to be invited to everything? Now, I appreciate it. Thank you for understanding. Thank you for understanding. I know, I would have invited you if I could. Next up, we have the collector's chest right here, which inside, I have yet to open up one of these right here, is a Fuecoco, Sprigatito, and Quaxley. Now, if we look closely, these are not promo cards. They are not promo cards, so keep that in mind when purchasing that, if that is a, a deciding factor for you. Now, this came out the same time as the Obsidian Flame set. However, I thought there was gonna be Obsidian Flames in it, and there is not. There's not a single pack of Obsidian Flames inside of here. We do have stickers, which I have this thing to where I get nervous to stick the stickers on things because I feel like I'm wasting it and I'm not using it properly. Does anybody else have that kind of like fear? I don't know if you want to call it a fear, but just kind of like, I don't want to stick the sticker to anything because I feel like I'm going to waste it and I'm not using it properly. That's how I feel with stickers. Well, Breaking Family, why don't we go ahead and cleanse the palette of some Obsidian Flames while we open up some non-Obsidian Flames Pokemon cards for today's Woo! Pokemon card opening. We got Alolan Vulpix V-Star Energy making an appearance today. Let's go ahead and sleeve up our Alolan Vulpix. Woo! Right up there in the VIP section. Let's go into another Silver Tempest. Can we do back to back? That would be amazing because whenever I open up the collector's chest, I gotta be honest with you, I don't have a whole lot of luck. So I'm surprised that I already pulled that Alolan Vulpix. Back to back with the Hisuian Arcanine and Radiant Jirachi 2 energy for the price of one. I feel like my voice is still out from yelling at the Pokemon World Championships in Yokohama, Japan. Uh, cheering, <laughs> cheering people on, cheering at the opening ceremonies, cheering at the closing ceremonies. There was a lot of cheering, a lot of yelling, and just a lot of neat experiences where I was just yelling in general because that's what I do, all right? We have Rock Rock. Going into Larvitar, Pelipper, Fletchlander, fly away bird, fly away, be a bird, be yourself. You know what I always say, always be you, don't try to be like anybody else. We got a Fletchlander and a Baxcalibur Energy for the rare. Next, Paldea Evolved, not bad with the uh, Silver Tempest back to back. We got a Watchroll, fly away Watchroll. Going into a Bramblin, I still don't know how I feel about that Pokemon. Tarantula. And a slacking energy for the rare. We got two Scarlet and Violet. And then we're going to jump right back into Obsidian Flames. And I got to say, while I was in Japan, literally the hottest place I've ever experienced in my life was in Japan. I believe we went during the hottest time of the entire year. We went a week before Worlds actually started. And then the last week we were there, obviously Worlds was happening. But it was so incredibly hot. So I understand. I understand when people say it is hot in Japan. I, I totally get it now, but we did go during the hottest time of the year, but easily one of the best experiences, if not the best experience that Marie and I have ever had in our entire life. I mean, just, it was absolutely incredible. So incredible that I think we're already trying to uh, plan another trip to go back because it was so much to see and so much that we didn't get to see at the same time. We got Obsidian Flames, Check Lane Blisters. We got that Paldean Whooper right there. And you get the coin with Sprigatito. I'll put that over there ever so carefully. Put our Bagel Bites right back there. Tyranitar as the pack artwork. Still looking for that gold Charizard. We got Kleppa going into Oikolon. Why oink together when you can oink alone? We got Scyther, Kleppa, all two. Two for the price of one, Breaking Family. Going into Vespaquin EX. Two for the price of one. That's what I'm talking about right there. Let's get two sleeves and sleeve them up. Cleffa is an extra. So that will go in my trade binder. However, Vespaquin, I believe, is not an extra. Right up there in the VIP section. Going into the Palmy for our next check lane blister. There is only two, two different ones right now so if you are looking to complete your pro promo binder like i have I, I have a promo binder then you're going to want both of those 
All right, going into the next one, we got a Heat More. Not Heat Less, but Heat More. We got a Toxel going into Slazzle Wug Trio. And, and a Scizor Scizor Energy for the rare. Also, since I was talking about my trade binder, this is something I announced on the channel, I think three weeks ago, three or weeks or four weeks ago. But um, when I do trades at, you know, Pokemon Night or at a show, whatever it may be in person, I've started doing these trade slips. So I put the date, the location, the, the name of the person that I traded with or their username, what I traded away, and then what I traded for. And this slip is the size a little bit less than a Pokemon card. And in my library, what I do is the card that I traded for, I put the slip right behind it so I know exactly who it came for and they'll forever be immortalized in the Pokemon card library. It makes it a little bit more personal for me. I really, really like this. It was a neat idea that I came up with that I think is just really, really awesome. If it's something you want to implicate uh, for your um, for your Pokemon card binder, I highly encourage you to do so. I just printed these slips off right here, but it adds a more personal touch, I feel like, and uh, it helps uh, kind of secure some of those memories so you don't forget uh, who you traded something, uh, who you traded, or what you traded away. And then I'm also taking a picture with the person, and the picture's about the size of this, and I'm also putting it behind the card as well. So the slip and the picture will be right behind the card. So if I trade with some of you in the future, just know that that might be something we might end up doing. Now, I can't do it with every single trade, right? Like commons, uncommons, um, reverse hollows, you know, uh, uh, maybe like a basic... A basic ultra rare like that but i'm going to try to do it with a lot of them so it's just a lot a lot of writing a lot of pictures if i if i do that we got rock rough going into talon flame now this unfortunately is not obsidian flames either however marie decided we needed to get this because it is the pencil case and she does enjoy stationary items like this so i'm sure that she will keep that in her stationary item collection on her channel basically marie if you want to go check out her channel basically marie I'll put a link down in the video description down below as well if you want to check it out. We got Hypno going into a Quaxwell and, uh-oh, uh-oh, Maridon EX. More ultra rare goodness. Let's go ahead and sleeve up our Maridon. Now, breaking family, we are ending on the Elite Trainer Box. Will this be? Hang on. Oh, fast forward. As I was saying, will this be the best Obsidian Flames opening out of all of them? Will it have the best Obsidian Flames cards? Who knows? We're going to find out right now. I'm still kind of sticking with the three packs. Uh, three packs, you know, the price point is not too horrible. The pulls were not bad either. We got a Bunnel Blade going into a Glamora EX Full Art Goodness. All right. All right. Obsidian Flames Elite Trainer Box is looking good. Looking good. Whoop. Right up there in the VIP section. We're not doing bad, honestly. Look at this. Look at all the pulls that we have gotten so far. Ugh. I feel like if we were doing a, a, a pack battle with Marie, Marie probably would have pulled all of those, honestly. We got Shuckle, a bear tick, going into Bronzor with the clay doll for the rare in that one. Ugh. Ugh. Going into the next one. These are sealed up really, really good. Having to use my Machamp-like strength. We got Bonsley. I mean, think about it. When's the last time we've gotten a Bonsley card? What? I want to say like 15 years ago, it feels like. We got Dolive, Surskit, Pupitar, Togetic with a smile right there on its face. Having a good day. Hopefully, you're having a good day as well. And I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Enjoying some Pokemon in a nice positive environment. You know, we always leave the negativity at the door. There's enough negativity in the world. Why wouldn't we add more to it? We don't. Let's just hang out, enjoy each other's company, have a good time, right? Always be ourselves right here. You know, always encourage that. Oh, I see something. I see something right there. I don't know if you see it, but I see it. Right there. Here we go. We got a LeChonk going into... Woo! There we go. We got ourselves the Charizard EX. Kind of full art goodness right there. Ending, somewhat ending, on a Charizard pull. Woo! Will there be multiple Charizards inside of the Elite Trainer Box? Let's go ahead and sleeve up our Charizard EX. Whoop. Right there, we have ourselves a Charizard card. Put that right there. We still have one, two, three, four, five booster packs left. A chance, 
a chance at another Charizard. Well, how wild would that be if we actually pulled multiple Charizards in one box? We got a Soul Rock going into Entei. Now, to be fair, Marie did pick out the Elite Trainer box. So, she always has the luck. She always has the luck. Going into a Lillipup, which, by the way, this is a Yukimori. We were talking about the artist Yukimori earlier, and uh, the clay artwork is what they do. We got a Charcadet, Armor Rouge, going into Tadvolve, and a Palafin for the rare. And as I mentioned, we do have the uh, the Pokemon, the pop-up Pokemon Center at the World Championships, the exclusive video. You can take a look at it. You can take a look at all the exclusive items. And there is a giveaway in that video for the Pokemon World Championship backpack. That's right. I have an extra backpack that I got to give away another Cleffa. So that giveaway is ending, I think, next week. So go enter it now. The backpack was definitely one of the hottest items at the Pokemon Center at the World Championship. So you have an opportunity to get one by going to that video and entering in that giveaway. So like I said, that does uh, that does end soon. Here we go. I'll put it there. There's the video right up there. It's right at the top of the screen. We got Houndoom going into Sinistee and a Kaladol for the rare in that one. One booster pack left. Freaking family. Do you think it's a Charizard? Do you think we're going to end on a Charizard? My voice is going out, or it's already out. We got Bone Sweet, Magnemite, Larvesta, Rowlet, done by my favorite artist, Tomokazu Kamiya. We got a Kimmerupt going into a Grand Bull, Greverd, and Breaking Family. We are ending on. Can I get a drum roll, please? Thank you. And Breaking Family. We are ending on. Oh, Dextricity, you both ruined the party! Breaking Family, that's it for today's Pokemon video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Check out the rest of the videos right over there. We'll see you all in the next video. And don't forget, I love every single one of you all around the world. Do it with me now. Peace, love, and a high five.